What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get that grub on? You know what I am. It's your boy, back again with another video for you guys. <sighs> guys, guys, guys. I'm scared, man. I'm scared. I'm going to tell you why. I'm trying Chinese food today. Oh, hell no. I know. So, we all know when you try Chinese food, man, you got to be really careful because sometimes... Let me say all the time. It's hard. It's hard to really find a, a good Chinese food place. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's almost like a good barbecue place. Uh, it's just tough. Certain things is tough to find, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I've been procrastinating and pushing this off because I didn't want to take the chance and find one, man. It'd be like nasty, basically. And you know, I have to give them a bad rating because I really don't want to give anybody a bad rating. But I definitely want to be honest with you guys. And I want you guys to be able to trust my judgment, you know, trust my opinions. You know what I mean? I don't want people to be afraid of their rating, but I do want them to understand that if there is something that I say and it comes off as negative, it's just constructive criticism. Uh, it's nothing personal. I don't even know you guys personally, but uh, if you have any comments, uh, comment below, man. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions, let me know what you think. Uh, at the same time, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know your boy, man. I, Trying to get to these thousand subscribers, I need your help. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, man. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in on this Chinese food that I got from a place called China One. It's in Fort Pierce. Uh, I seen a sign that said they were under new ownership. So I was like, okay. Usually when places are under new ownership, it means a few things. One, the food was nasty before. Two, the uh, business didn't do well before. Three, Somebody saw something that we didn't see and decided to make the best of it. So I'm hoping it's three. And I'm going to go based off of the new ownership that they're going to put in a little extra effort to make sure that the food is delicious. So we're going to try it out. And I'm going to let you guys know. Ugh, wish me luck, right? All right, I'll be back in a bit, man. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. All right, guys. So here we go. We're going to try this food out. Let you guys see what I got first. I, I went, up, went ahead and said, let me start basic because when it comes to Chinese food, man, you never want to go too crazy, just in case. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, let me start off basic first. Um, so I start off with the chicken wings first. Um, I got the chicken wings, the house special rice, uh, shrimp lo mein, and of course, my fortune cookie. Now I know some of you are like, man, where's your egg roll? Tell you why I didn't get the egg roll. There's, there's a thing with egg roll. Okay, egg rolls people think is simple, but it's not. Have you ever been to a Chinese spot? You open the egg roll, it's pink. You open this egg roll, it's white. You open this egg roll, it's orange. And then this one has pork, this one has shrimp. One is is, is, is crunchy, the other one's soft. This is a lot, it's very complex, and I'd rather not get into that, just in case. So, we're gonna go ahead and try this. I'm gonna let you guys see this first, okay? Let me open it up to give you guys a little visual. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, hook you guys up a little bit here. Where's the time for? All right, I'm, I'm tripping. All right, so, so you guys can see what I got going on in here. All right, so, my chicken, okay. Not really feeling it based on how it looks because it look a little different. Um, again, it's Chinese. Can't just go off of perception, man. You gotta try it out, right? The house special rice. All right, there's another thing that's different. This house special rice, as you can see, is yellow. Now, for me, that's yellow rice. But, you know, I noticed some Chinese places use yellow rice, some use white rice, brown rice. Well, let's not judge them, okay? We, we gonna hold on to that. Now, I went ahead and got me some shrimp lo mein because just in case I don't like the rice, I usually like the lo mein or vice versa. So I want to try that out. Let you guys see this. Now, I usually put my duck sauce on there. You know, hook it up, put a little seasoning to it. But I was like, you know what? I want to kind of try. I want to try it out based on their recommendation, so to speak. So I got my duck sauce. Because that's what they said. Hey, try duck sauce. I'm gonna try duck sauce, man. Let you guys know how it is. So let's go ahead. 
first. I always like to start off by opening my fortune cookie because I feel like you never know what it's gonna say. You know what I mean? Plus, I'm, I'm kind of interested in what it has to offer me today. So, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna tell you, this is a bonus. You wanna know why? I just opened this fortune cookie, man. I have two fortune cookies in here. You see what I'm saying? I didn't know that. So, I might, I might be lucky, man. Y'all, next time y'all might see me, man, I might be doing this video in the mansion, man, sitting, styling, you know what I'm saying? Doing doing the, the happy dance, rubbing my hands like bird man. When my name come up, respect it. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, open this up. Now, I see how they got me, though. They gave me two fortune cookies, but one fortune. I tell you, if that's just their signature, kudos to them, because they allow you to eat your fortune cookie, because they know you're gonna break this one into millions of pieces to read this little fortune. So they give you an extra one to slowly enjoy and one to tear apart. I almost feel like I'm one years old again, man. I get to play in the cake while y'all eat the other one. You know what I'm saying? And so we're gonna go ahead and tear up the second one that's in there. You know what's even better? I don't got two. Just right down the edge, just pull it on out. Now I got two full fortune cookies. I'll share with one of you guys if you ask for it. Just not tonight. All right, so let's see what this says. Confidence begets confidence. Bro. So I'm trying to feel the energy from that. But basically what it's saying is confidence if you if you show confidence then your confidence will be shown what bro what are you talking about man that was my chi moment so basically you walk into a room there's two people it's you and someone else both you guys look exactly alike i mean from hair makeup whatever the case may be you're dressed the same Except one of you guys. All right, let me scratch that. Let me scratch that. That was gonna be good, but it's gonna be better. Two people, you, somebody else. You guys look completely opposite. Okay, you come in, polo shirt, pants with the matching polo shoes. You got your jewelry on. You know what I'm saying? The gold teeth and all that. And the other person got the three-piece suit, Armani. You know, with the with the nice. Steve Madden loafers on, what have you, you know, the clean shave, everything. Look like they just got out of the military. So they carry their accomplishments on their back or on their shoulder. So when they walk in, you automatically say, oh man, they sit up straight. They must have been in a boarding school. They must have been in, you know, things like that. And then you walk in with the same perception that they're trying to get others to see. And you're feeding off of their confidence instead of your own. So confidence begins, begets confidence, which means you can come in how you're dressed, but if you're as confident, if not more confident than this guy next to you, you have equal, if not more, of an opportunity to get the success that you both are looking for. So this is good, simple, but deep. I like that. Plus I got me some numbers on the back, so I'm going to play them since they sent me two fortune cookies, I might be lucky, so I'm going to play that. All right, let's get into this food, man. All right, so first, we're going to try the chicken out. Let you guys know how this is. Wish me luck. All right. It's not bad chicken, okay? It's not bad chicken. It's tasteful, you know? A little, a little extra crunchy though. But, you know, good kettle chicken. You know, 
cool with that. You know. Because y'all know how I am about my chicken, man. You know what I mean? So, it's not much flavor on the chicken. But, it is fried chicken. I think. Anyway. Chicken's decent, you know what I mean? Um, it's actually better than what I thought it was gonna be, because like I said, I don't have no high hopes when it comes to Chinese food, right? So, that was good for me to go ahead and just try it out, and it actually came out pretty decent. Kudos to China Ones for that. Okay. Let's move on, shall we? So, next dish, we're gonna go ahead and try this good house special rice. Let's see how special the house is, all right? You see me picking it up, right? Most of y'all get house special because you want that shrimp in it. I mean, vegetable. Picking this up, I know all y'all see is rice, right? I'm a shrimp back. I'm a shrimp back. See that? No shrimp. Is it down there somewhere? No shrimp. It's gotta be somewhere. Oh! There you go, he's hanging on by life. So I had to get him. So, the rice is, is decent as well, man. I'm mad though, to give me a quarter of house special rice. And all that, I only seen one shrimp. That's a prop, especially for me. Cause I'm big on shrimp, I'm big on chicken, man. So if I'm missing it and I'm supposed to have it, that's a problem. But we gonna hold that thought. Alright. Slide over here to the low main. See what they talking about. Now this is shrimp low main, so there better be some got shrimp in here. I tell you that. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. seasoning in the lo mein kind of tastes more of the noodles and water kind of thing but um, it's not too bad either excuse me you got your uh, <clears throat> you know your sauce your teriyaki sauce stuff like that you can put on there so it's not bad that's one thing about Chinese food too man you get you a lot of gas you ain't never last. You ain't never last. If y'all happen to <laughs> hear a fart or something, <clears throat> don't mind me, all right? Putting all these together uh, based on presentation, taste, uh, customer service, which, by the way, was pretty good. Um, you know, I asked him, hey, I want to order this food. How soon? 15 minutes. And I got mine in 13. So, that's a plus. Um, and it's not too pricey. Um, for everything I got, it came up to about 20 bucks, which is good, because I got the full-size shrimp lo mein, the house special rice quart, and eight pieces of chicken wings. So, that's pretty good. So, price not bad, you know what I'm saying? So, let's say, on a scale of one to 10, with all things considered, uh, I give him a seven, okay? So, I'm gonna give him a seven because like I said, the service was good, the price is reasonable. Um, the food was decent. Um, I felt that the chicken uh, was a little too tough and it didn't have enough flavor in it like I really would have wanted it to. The house special rice got me because it took me a long time to find one shrimp. And, uh, I just feel like it should be more than that. You know what I mean? 
Um, the the shrimp lo mein, you know, was okay, but it didn't have any flavor to it as well. So it seems like with this meal, you would spend a lot of time kind of seasoning it yourself. So other than that, it was pretty decent. Um, you guys ever in the Fort Pierce area, man, stop by China One. Don't forget to tell him Mr. Grubb sent you. Tell him how you like it so you can get it how you want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to dig in this. I gotta give me some water though, because the gas is starting to set in. So I'll get with you guys next time, man. It's your boy, Mr. Grubb. I'm out.